So I did some Facebook and a vegan buddy of mine, Rich, steals some shots of some uh, Domane. New Domane. Uh, I always used to call it a domain, Domane. Interesting stuff. This is a carbon bike from Trek, and this is into the details here. It's got a little decoupler system, and you can vary the flex. You can slide this up and down, and it takes a bit of the bumps, a bit of cushioning. And it's the front end as well. It's got quite interesting. We'll get to that in a sec. So it looks like uh, big clearance apparently with the uh, the brakes. Plenty of tire clearance there. And this is the thing here. You can slide up and down, undo. I think maybe that bolt or that bolt, and then you can slide this up and down. Different settings for compliance. The, what interests me on this bike is the big tires, the ability there. Let's go to see what we can find on the net. So I'm at cycling tips straight away. There's an advert for uh, Trek Monumental Advantage Cancellaro on Strada Bianchi on the new Demand SLR. Reality is though, it's not your bike that's going to help that much. It's more what your hemoglobin is. If your hemoglobin ain't up there, <clears throat> you ain't winning shit. So let's not pretend it's the bike that what caused Cancellaro's win. What we will look at today in this video is, I think this is really cool, where bike companies are uh, going for advancements in comfort because everyone knows the more comfortable you are on the bike, the more you're gonna ride it, the more fat you're gonna lose, the more fitness you're gonna make, the more friends you're gonna meet, etc. So I've hats off the trek for doing this sort of level of innovation. What we can see here, let's have a look. So it's the front ISO speed, so the front end is very compliant as well, the rear end very compliant as well. And what is cool though, some people can say we just run lower tire pressure. So you can low run lower tire pressure and have this sort of thing. We can have, have the wider tire, wider tires are more comfortable, 28, 32, etc. like that. Uh, this is an ISO zone bar, I think it's called. Or ISO core rather, I've got an ISO zone bar on my e-bike, it's pretty good, but this is an ISO core. It's got little bits of rubber apparently in there. Uh, the brake clearance is pretty cool. This is, now this is an interesting one. Uh, meeting CPSC and ISO clearance standards. That's, that's the first time ever in the bike industry I've ever seen in you know, over 20 years where they have a standard, where they advertise that it exceeds the standard. Uh, meeting and meeting the standards is quite interesting. And it can still run fenders. So this is where it's going. It's going to functional bikes, uh, functional bikes, etc. There's a little YouTube. Let's have a look at the YouTube thing. What's going on here? Oh, only 1,400 views. This video will get more than that. Um, so it's basically it's your standard sort of romantic, uh, emotive, you know, high quality shots. It's cool. It's good stuff. That's what I love about cycling. You get amongst it. The reality is, you ain't winning shit unless your hemoglobin is right up there. If your hemoglobin is not over 180. You're not going to be doing your best. Doesn't matter what bike you're riding. So I think this is quite interesting that the bicycle industry, it always used to be about lighter, stiffer, things like that. And now it's going more lighter, comfortable. Instead of stiffness, it's going for comfort. Even a new Badone is comfort orientated. Because most people who buy these high-end bikes are not pro riders who have extreme uh, conditioning from being the bike for so long. So what's my bottom line take on the Demane? It looks like it's coming out of the Giant factory. It's going to be manufactured by Giant designed by Trek, and I think it's, it's looking like a very promising product. I definitely uh, would put this on my list of bikes to have a look at. It's really cool to see. I love What I love about this bike is the bigger tire clearance. Uh, I love the comfort inspired geometry, etc., and little decouplers, little gadgets. But what really I like is the extra clearance of bike tire width on uh, an endurance bike. It's really cool. So it's more of a, a go anywhere versatile road bike. You know, it's really cool. Either the way, gadgets are in. So let us know what you think of the new Trek D Mane SLR. It's uh, it's interesting stuff. Paint jobs. I'm not really that impressed with the paint though. But the good thing about Trek, Trek does have the best paint jobs in the industry. If you go to their custom project one, it's pretty cool. You can have your own uh, options there. So I'd definitely rate Trek. The finish is great. These colors are. I don't really. I don't know, that, that, that paint's personal, it's personal preference, what one person likes, another person doesn't. Disc, non-disc, if I was going to go this bike, I'd probably run a disc, because it can run fatter tires on there, and plus fenders, so make, make a great all-weather bike if you're in uh, Seattle, Thailand, etc. Not cheap, but, uh, you know, 
Stoey car or have a vasectomy, don't have an extra kid and you'll be able to afford one of these bad boys. It is pretty cool. So these get my thumbs up, even though I haven't ridden one. I'll uh, probably get a test bike soon. Might even buy one, see how it goes. Let us know down below. See you soon.